has been declared in San Juan Batista tonight. City council members voted unanimously to institute a water shortage emergency. It all started last week when high nitrate levels were found in one of the city's wells. Now the question is, what do they do about it? Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen is live with more. Well, Aaron, the situation is a tough one for city leaders in San Juan Batista because while they actually have the water that their citizens need, a lot of it now is deemed unusable because of these high nitrate levels, dangerous for young kids, pregnant women, and people with immune problems. A state of emergency in San Juan Batista. Concerns about the city's high nitrate water and who those levels might affect most. Can I wash the bottles? Can I wash the liners? What about the passies? How do I, can I wash anything of that? So under no time did it ever say, do not use the tap water to boil. I'm concerned about real elderly people with compromised systems getting the nitrate, nitrates in their body. The water shortage state of emergency means the council can implement water rationing measures and apply for grant money. Priority one, finding a way to filter water from well number two. An expensive prospect. Thursday night, neighbors told their city council they aren't satisfied with the way they were alerted to the high nitrate levels. I have a concern also with, with being notified. If I hadn't been watching Action News, I would not have known there was a water issue. Can we do anything right now, you know, like tomorrow? The problem is even more expensive for local restaurants. The manager of Mexican food favorite Hardeen's says it's costing four to $5,000 in just the first week. A lot of beans and rice that need to be boiled, that all takes water, ice, coffee, iced tea, soda, everything takes water. And to take that away from us is we're losing our lifeblood here. City leaders will gather estimates on systems like reverse osmosis. And day to day, the city is mixing water from the two wells, trying to even out the high nitrate levels. We'll, we'll ask about it. Don't worry. We're here. You know, and, you know. Well, I think we're all under the Well, that's fine. We're going we're gonna to step up to the plate and get it done. And one of the things that city leaders wanted to really get across tonight is that actually boiling this water makes it more dangerous to ingest. So they said, do not boil your water. There were a lot of other questions tonight, like can we bathe in this water? Can we wash uh, food or dishes in this water? And those questions, they really couldn't answer tonight. Those will go to the Department of Environmental Health for the state tomorrow, and those answers will get back uh, to folks as soon as tomorrow. Aaron, Dan. All right, Brittany, thank you. The water is tested every day, and the State Department of Environmental Health is very active in monitoring the levels as well.